And low their funds. We're back! <laughs> More Metal Gear Solid. This time we're playing Peace Walker, which um, I have on the PS3 HD collection. So, um, yeah, I don't own a PSP, so this is the way we're going to play it. And uh, I thought it was cool how they, they show on the timeline. So Metal Gear Solid 3 is technically first, then Peace Walker's in between that and Metal Gear Solid 2. So, all right. Oh, I should have read that. Shit! <laughs> should have read! Oh, no! <laughs> well, I don't know a single thing about this one, except that I know we're playing as Big Boss. It's like taking place during Big Boss's timeline. So... Yeah, or Naked Snake, whatever you want to call him. Hello? <laughs> Did you give up? Okay, this game saves data automatically at certain points. Do not power off the system. Got it. Configuring system data. So I've heard that the story is important for this one. So. I've also heard that this is one of the best PSP games. All I see is a black screen. The characters of this game referred to as me. Okay. Konami! Naisu. Konami. Kojima Productions. Why do I read that as Konami? I don't know. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker HD Edition. Hell yeah! And that, that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. New game. And I can actually press, press X to select. I don't have to press circle. God bless. <laughs> New game. <laughs> Put your player name. You must. You may only use up to fifteen. Up. Wait. I get to pick my name. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> Papers. Is this name okay? Yes. Absolutely. It's what y'all voted on. <laughs> Select your control. Oh God. Is similar to that in Metal Gear Solid Four. Should we send to? Okay. I'm gonna go with that one. Let's go with that one. I know that's not what I was originally gonna go with, but we're gonna go with that one. And watch. Two seconds in, I'm gonna go, what are the controls? <laughs> Papers. Alright, here we go. Following the story of Papers. It was 1964. The world was firmly in the grip of the Cold War, divided into East and West. One of the American's heroes had defeat defected to the Soviet Union. She was known as the boss, the mother of the special forces, and the soldier said to have led the Allies to victory in World War II. However, the American-made miniature nuclear warhead she took with her was used to destroy a Soviet research facility. Yep. Facing full-scale nuclear war, the leaders of the world's superpowers held top-secret talks to avert Armageddon. The Soviet Union wanted assurance that this was not the work of Uncle Sam. They wanted America to eliminate one of the most legendary soldiers, the boss. The person assigned to this mission, mission was her closest apprentice. The soldier was as Snake. Snake made the anguished journey to enter territory, eventually confronting and, the, and killing the boss as the fortress called blah, 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 Nuclear Holocaust. Okay. Having saved the world, Snake was hailed as a true hero and was given the title Big Boss. Yep. <clears throat> Following the award ceremony, however, Snake disappeared. That he did. Konami Digital Entertainment presents Hideo Kojima game. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. This was on a PSP? I know this is the HD like collection thing, but what? The fuck? This is so much better than I thought it was gonna look. I know you're gonna say, boo, charge your fucking controller. I know. Wow. Cool to play as Big Boss again. Especially now that we know a little bit more about him from Metal Gear Solid 4. 
All right, what are we doing? Just a cutscene. There he is. Boss. David Hater, my boy. <laughs> We're back, bitches. <laughs> All right. Hey, boss. Want to go around? Okay, sure. Is this a tutorial? Start button. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Usual free roaming camera. Oh, thank God. We didn't have that <laughs> when we were last playing as big boss. David Hayden. What's going on, Kaz? Ooh, I like the cutscene. We've got guests. Time to move. Don't worry. It's not our friends from Langley. I brought him. Made sure we won't follow. Thank you, Big Boss. Call me <laughs> Snake. Oh, uh, sorry, Big Boss. <laughs> Listen up. For us, there is no victory. But in revolution, doesn't one triumph or die? We don't do either. I like how it's comic book style. It's, it's, it's really cool. The art style is really neat. Hey, it's six over in the corner. You see her? like a new man. There's no coffee like Costa Rican coffee. So, what brings a distinguished scholar from the Costa Rican government to Colombia? Professor Galvez comes from Costa Rica's University for Peace. You see, over the past year, there have been sightings of an armed group in Costa Rica. They're not ours, of course. Costa Rica doesn't have an army. Correct. Article 12 of our constitution states that the army as a permanent institution is abolished. The peace constitution. The hell are you, you six? You think it's rebels who fled Nicaragua? No, no, they don't appear to be guerrillas. They're far too organized. <laughs> What's your government's take? <laughs> the authorities in San Jose claim it's a multinational security firm, hired by the Development Corporation of Costa Rica. Lies, obviously. They're bringing in state-of-the-art weaponry and equipment by the shipload. Shipload? Where'd they get that kind of cash? I fear La Cia may be involved. La Cia? The hell is La Cia? The CIA. As you oh. both know, Duh. the United States views Fuck Central me, America dude. as its backyard. Even after Cuba, we've managed to maintain a delicate like the balance CIA. with the U.S. <laughs> the CIA. And your government Bruh. can't just get the boot. We are not allowed to bear arms. Japan's constitution has something similar. Article 9. It says Japan renounces war and can't maintain an army. It's I cool understand to see him because he was the in the first game my mentor or whatever that ended up foe. being my brother. Please, you must drive them out of our defenseless country. We come to you, the Militaire Sans Frontières. So, you want to hire us? Yes, as our deterrent. Hmm. We can't afford to pay much, it's true. But. We can offer you this. A forward operating base. An offshore plant in the Caribbean. Sounds is pretty that... good to me. This place is becoming a mess anyway. Snake. Is that what I think it is? We need someplace <laughs> we can settle down. The government's agreed to I cooperate. I looked a little familiar. <laughs> officially, of course. 
If it's what I think it is, it's really for cool. transport would be nice too. I'll see what I can do. Hold it. You seem to think we're just a pack of dogs of war. Is that right? Yes, that's what I've heard. You're an army without a state. No, we've only left our countries behind. Please, you must help us. Please. If your suspicions are true, force isn't going to do any good. You'll have to find a political solution. The government's hands are tied. Go back to your bosses in San Jose. Tell them if they want, I'll introduce them to a negotiator I know. No. I'm not here on their behalf. Huh. So, what are you doing here? For over 20 years, I've preached the virtues of peace at multiple universities. Tonight, I stand before you as an educator. This is my student. She came to me to study peace. Her name peace is Paz. Paz Ortega. Paz Ortega. Paz. Peace. No kidding. That's my name too. Kazuhira. It's Japanese for peace. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Paz. Call me... Kaz. Uh. They've got a supply port north of Puerto Limon. A town in La Costa del Mar Caribe. A few days ago, Paz stumbled upon that facility. I love how every game is friend. in a different location. It's really cool. She was captured. She's First game was child. in Alaska. Sixteen years old. Second game was they did out like at sea. Her. I forget where. But somehow she managed Third game, to Russia. Fourth game was oh, in um. Thank God. Where was it? She's with Some, Anna. Somewhere in the her Middle East. Her mother died when she was small. And then this one She is lost her grandparents in the Civil uh, War. South America. She hates war with a passion like no other. My name is Paz. And I will do anything to protect my namesake. All right. It is my one and only purpose. Okay, no. Please, get them out of my country. Make them leave Costa Rica. Sorry, kid. We know who you are, big boss. That is why we've come to you. Wait, did he think that they didn't know who he was the whole time? Hmm? Prologue, an army without borders. Okie doke. All right, I get to move. Miller here. Do you copy, Snake? I see you've landed. That makes one giant leap for us. I'm sending this from the oh, offshore plant, we'll touch it. our mother base. The yeah. signal is unidirectional. Oh, it's so nice to have a free roaming camera. Holy channel. shit! Keep your headphones I had it in the fourth game, but it's so nice attention. to have it with Big Boss. Also, Jeez. Make sure no one else can listen in. Snake, are you clear on the controls? Take a minute to refresh your memory. There's no one around. Why not try oh, that's interesting. Practice. So it shows me a target the noise around me. It shows me tip. also how Just noisy I'm weapon. being. Hold that's the cool. R2 button, then use the square and circle buttons to make your selection. Oh, okay. Ready your weapon with the R1 button. Then press the square button to fire. Use the R1 button to ready throwing weapon. Once you're ready, hit the square button to throw. When using throwing weapons, hold All right, shut up. <laughs> Gotta thank you for agreeing to this. Miller, snake. that's his name. Man, am I glad to be out of here. Finally, we can leave all that crap in San Geronimo behind. Break into the mercenary business for real. Let me guess. You're doing it for her, aren't you? For her. Yep. Eva! Oh, probably not Eva. Are you doing it for the peace girl? For Paz? Maybe that I was wrong. <laughs> Are they still here? Come on, Snake. This could be good for us. 
They're willing to give us an offshore plant. A place I'm we can finally put down some Eva. roots. This is our chance to expand MSF. We don't need a place to stay, guys. We're nomads. We always will be. What? You'd rather keep wandering from conflict to conflict? Tools in the hands of whoever's fighting at the time? The second we settle down, who's to say we won't become the warmongers? Listen to me, Snake. We're not mercenaries. We're not a foreign legion. MSF's a business. A new kind of business. <sighs> Look, it's not like we're trying to start a war here. All we need to do is find out who this security company really is. Come on, Kaz. It's pretty obvious that they're back by Somebody the Somebody get that man a lighter. A that would mean... Our friend, the Professor, is likely KGB. Mm. I see. We'd be making an enemy of our homeland. And there'd be no turning back. Ah, this damn thing won't light. Huh? Put on some coffee, Kaz. It's time for a little chat with the Professor. <laughs> a heavy smoker I can tell by your when voice. I got my medal from the secretary general he gave me this prosthetic hand as well but smoking was ruining my lungs so I quit I've not had much use for it since it's quite an honor to meet the legendary big boss that's just a code name the CIA made up then perhaps I should call you John I don't have a name. You stopped using that code name you liked so much ten years ago. <laughs> what about you, comrade? What do they call you back at Center? Center. Well then, allow me to get straight to the point. What? Land as From slim as a whip, hot as torture. That's the Chilean poet. Neruda. Central America is the navel of the American continents bridging north and south. We want this land. We'll build a socialist stronghold, then use it to split the Americas in two. America would lose its backyard. And with it, its economic production, shipping lanes, and strategic value. We, on the other hand, would gain a base from which all of Latin America would be well within our reach. He who controls Central America will win this Cold War. First comes Nicaragua, toppling the pro-American Somoza regime. In preparation, we've begun instigating anti-Somoza sentiment and providing aid to the Sandinista National Liberation Front. It's all about the war. You're manipulating Sandinista oh into overthrowing Somoza for I you. mean, doesn't surprise me at this point. After the revolution, like... Nicaragua will so become scummy. a socialist state. You Jesus. think America's just gonna let that happen? Certainly not. After all, the CIA is already here. And that's the armed group inside Costa Rica. Precisely. It's clear that they've been sent in to disrupt our efforts across the border. So why would we help you? Simply put, the army now stationed in Costa Rica is CIA capital. But it's more Oh, but I see, but we don't that. want the CIA to The CIA's okay. got something else planned as well. Okay. What? That is the million dollar question. Big boss, we want you and your unit to find the answer. Infiltrate and investigate the facility infiltrate. in the Costa, where the enemy fortress, outer all heaven. All you can of their operations, then drive them out of the country. Huh. You're asking us to settle a turf war between the KGB and the CIA. What about her? That was all just an act. Hmm. You mean her words about peace? She was captured, that much is true. 
But I've kept my KGB affiliation from her. And you thought we'd fall for a sob story? No. I had good reason to bring her along. She managed to escape with her life, but her friend was not so lucky. Why were they attacked? I believe this will help explain. Perhaps they saw something they weren't supposed to. Perhaps they heard something they shouldn't have. A cassette tape? Pass took this during her escape. She says her friend happened to record it by accident. What is that? A portable stereo cassette player. <laughs> the first of its kind. <laughs> ah, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. Didn't know you guys were too. I believe what you're about to hear will help you understand. What is that? A Quetzal? The Phoenix Bird. Pass's friend was researching birds. She went out into the jungle to record bird calls. Sounds like someone upon this. doing it, you know? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that bird. So? So what? So what? Now it gets interesting. What? Why are they playing Pause. Karen Carpenter? Voice print analysis confirms Sing. that this voice is indeed that of Sing the legendary song. hero and criminal, the boss. What? what? The other hasn't been identified. Female in her 30s with a British accent. The song playing in the background was a hit in 1973. What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your mentor? Your mission or your beliefs. I. I am loyal to myself. Oz is alive in Costa Rica. As I understand it, she was your commander, fought by your How side. How is she alive, though? And that you killed her under orders from the CIA, thus surpassing her to become the hero known as Big Boss. <laughs> Hell, what? Oh, well, this is already getting good. <laughs> Will you take the job? Well, now Snake, I have to. It's got to be a trap. Oh, so my you God. You can't turn your back on your country. <laughs> but I suppose you won't need this. No, I need my spoke. Oh, don't burn that. No, okay. Wait! Snake? I'll do it for the girl. For Paz. Mm, okay. What are you getting yourself for into? Ooh, friends! What is this? <laughs> It's already getting juicy. <laughs> 1974. There they are. CIA mercs. Snake, you've got to get past them undetected. Avoid combat whenever possible. Alright. I sneak then. I'm gonna sneak. Unless if I could just... So I try my CQC? I think we should try it. Do this I have is a sneaking mission. Hide behind stuff. Take the long way around. Whatever it takes to stay out of sight. Your gun is a last resort. It could just as easily kill you as save you. To press up against a wall, face it and hit the action button. From that position, you can press the L1 button to detect enemies. That also works while lying down. What? 
So, can I not, like... Can I not crawl? Do I just have to keep holding it? I can't move while I'm down? That's weird. The indicator in the upper right serves as a compass yeah. that shows sound sources. Pay attention to your surroundings. The percentage in the upper right is your camo index. The lower the number, the more easily you'll be spotted. Conspicuous movements and loud noises will compromise your camo index. Your fatigues will act as camouflage. Okay. No. What's this? I like throwing people. Um, all right. Keep your eye on what's left of your life gauge on the left of the screen. To the right of that, you'll see your. What? Am I heading to my goal? Yeah, go, Peepus. Continue on. I didn't get to check out that other area, but it's fine. As long as Peepus can progress. Looks like you're inside the compound. Security is tight. Stay sharp. Thank you, compass up in the top right. Jeez, I would have messed that up. Good thing these guys are stupid. Shot at. Dispatching reinforcements. Cool. I just wanted those extra guys to leave. Head for the building to the east. Footsteps. We need intel on that base. I know I saw something. No, no. Infiltrate the facility on the east side of the oh. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck just happened. Yes, sir, we broke him. We acquired a target five. Oh, who the fuck are you beating up? Acknowledged. The barge is cleared, Point Bravo. Acknowledged. Ow. They said something about zero, too. Stun! Stun him! What? R1. Oh, I was supposed to press things. Ah, I was supposed to press things! Sorry. Sorry, I didn't notice. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't think that during the cutscenes. I... Okay. Okay. It was like, you didn't press it. What's up you didn't there? press it. You didn't press it. 
R1. Oh, frick. R1. Ah, shock him. Good job, Schnack. What is that? singing it's a drone why is the drone singing <laughs> guest artist ashley wood so far i love the art this so is thank you. Kaz, can you hear me loud and clear you found a radio it's got a circuit that reverses the audio phase Let's switch frequencies from time to time, just to make sure we're not detected. I found a map of their bases. The cargo's heading from the marshes west towards Irasu. Nice going, boss. Cause this place is full of film badges. Dozens of them. Film badges? Like the ones used to measure radiation exposure? Uh, the radio man was wearing one. And whoever he was talking to called the cargo Spears. Wait, that would mean... Nukes. Oh, They're bringing fuck. nukes into Costa Rica. Oh, fuck. Holy mother of God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. There's the title screen. I've been waiting for that. Fuck yeah. Oh, wow. This is already just like many times better than I thought it was going to be. I would think it was just going to be like, oh, cute little, you know, like PSP game. So that's, I think the, a good and a bad thing with these games is I underestimate them. <laughs> um, I think the only one I overestimated was Metal Gear Solid 3, but I still enjoyed that game. It just had like really high expectations, but that like, wow, I'm already blown away. Hey, I got smoke grenades. Nice. How's that map, Snake? Think you can use it? Probably. Uh, it tells me where their bases are, but it's just a bunch of points. No routes. I need better intel on the lay of the land. Snake, the professor said he's got the Sandinistas on his side. Said you should get in touch with the FSL and Commandante. Hmm. Do they know they're backed by the KGB? Nah. As far as they know, they're really fighting for the revolution. The KGB is staying behind the scenes. I'm not sure the Sandinistas are aware of what's really going on. Still can't believe anybody would bring nukes here. Yeah, that's a shocker. Costa Rica's party to the Tlatel Loco Treaty, which declares Latin America a nuke-free zone. Based on Japan's three non-nuclear principles, it bans the testing, use, import, or deployment of nuclear weapons. If word of this gets out, Opinol will be forced to act. It'll cause an international uproar. Oh, the treaty man. was signed to prevent another Cuban Missile Crisis. If the yeah. U.S. itself is gonna scrap it. Latin America is too close to spawning another Cuba or two already. The entire continent would become one big powder keg. Well, if they did bring nukes, we can't let them get away with it. Are they planning a test? Showing off? Or is it all to keep the anti-American movement in check? Good question. Why bring them here? I can't figure it out. Whatever the CIA is up to in Costa Rica, the professor wants it stopped. We need to find out what that something is. We need to get ready first, Kaz. Repairs? Working as fast as we can, boss. This place is pretty beat. It looks like hell. But as long as you're with us, we'll make it happen. No one can bother us here. No state telling us what to do. This is the MSF's haven, our mother base. And with this foothold, we'll back you up even better than before. We're gonna turn this pile of junk into something big. Hell yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. Welcome to MSF's mother base. Mother base can support your mission in many different ways from developing new weapons to collecting intelligence. Very cool. Uh, 
Okay, so I can assign people. Interesting. Okay. I can form my own teams. What the fuck? That's so cool. <laughs> Research and develop weapons and items. Play a match versus other players. Dude, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, the game just saved. This is a good place to stop for today, but I can't wait to play more. This is like so much more than I expected. Um, thank you all for telling me to play this game. Um, ah! So this part will go up Thanksgiving Day. It should. It's Friday. I apologize. It's supposed to go up on Thanksgiving. Ah. Um, I will not be able to stream on Saturday for a Saturday live stream because I will be heading home from visiting a family for Thanksgiving. But I will try when we get back to play more of this. If I do not, then it will be up on Sunday. All right. So with that, if you like this video, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, you need to subscribe to become a friend. Join the fun group. You can join the Discord. Um, I.